What is going on, guys? Grave here. Today, I'd like to talk about something I've been seeing a lot of new players and returning players talk about uh, lately in-game. I've been seeing a lot of this kind of conversation going on here on PlayStation. I've been seeing a lot of this conversation go on in the forums. And that is kind of new players and returning players stressing about how much damage they're doing. First of all, the, the main thing I want you to get from this is there's no need to stress about it. Um, it takes a long time to be able to learn to do really good DPS. Uh, it takes a long time to be able to get the rhythm of all the different characters you can have, uh, the different rotations you can have. I have a lot of characters. No, everyone out there may not have as many as I do, but there's some that I don't play every day. So when I get on them, it takes me a, you know, a couple hours of playing around with that character again to get back in the, the rhythm of doing the rotation and you know getting the damage out of it that I know I can. And I'm not the best DPS by any means. Um, I can hold my own, but it's it's a thing that I have played around with for years and years. I mean, like six plus years now to be able to get the hang of doing really good DPS. And the one thing that I think a lot of players probably, especially if you're new, probably think is if I get the right gear on, if I get what's best in slot and I have it all golded out, I'm going to be able to do more damage. And yes, that will help. But at the same time, in my opinion, rotation is what really matters. Being able to light weave, being able to hit everything for burst damage, being able to do everything correctly is really what's going to help your DPS more than having the right gear on. Now, if you're a new player, I'm going to say between 160 CP to like 500, or if you're a returning player that has not played in a really long time, or if you're just a person that's played for a long time and you really can't get the DPS you want, you have the right gear, whatever the, whatever the case may be, practicing your rotation is key. And I have sat on a dummy and just beat them to death for years learning rotations. I don't really care about the damage numbers I can do. I mean, now, yes, I like to see what I can get out of it. I like to try different builds and things and, and see what I can get out of it. But to, begin, but to begin with, when I first started playing, I just sat there and beat, beat on dummies and beat on dummies and beat on dummies just to be able to get the rotation down so I can do it without even having to think about it. And that's really how you get a lot of damage out of a character. You can have just decent crafted gear on a character that uh, you can do a really good ro rotation on and do plenty of damage. Uh, then you can start getting into, you know, getting your in-game best in slot gear. If you want to do max damage, a really good rotation with, you know, best in slot gear, of course, is going to get you the best damage. But there's a lot of players out there that can do really good damage that may not run best in slot gear. I test a lot of things on dummies and can get a lot of damage out of some stuff that's really not considered best in slot. And that all has to do with just practice. So don't stress about DPS. If you're a new player, if you're a returning player, and you're really, you know, trying to learn the, the damage role, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. I mean, besides CP, besides gear, besides a rotation, you just have to learn how to play that particular character. You need to learn to be able to do a lot of damage and survive. I know a lot of you may see things on Twitch or on YouTube where people can go in and hit a dummy, you know, hit a trial dummy for a hundred plus thousand DPS. And those people are well practiced. Those people know exactly what they're doing with that rotation. But at the same time, keep in mind, you're not going to be able to do that in a lot of situations in vet dungeons and maybe, you know, normal trials even or vet trials. Because you're not standing still in, in, in a trial or a vet dungeon, that dummy is going to be hitting back. You know, whatever you're fighting is going to hit back. That dummy does not hit back. So just keep that in mind. Just because you see big numbers, that doesn't necessarily mean you got to hit 100,000 plus to be a good DPS. A lot of pe people consider, you know, you have to have this big DPS number to be able to do really well in certain things. In my opinion, you're starting to hit 60 or 70,000 DPS. You're going to be able to complete, I'm going to say, majority of the content in game. Unless you're going for like speed runs and, and you know no death runs and things like that, where you got to have some big damage to get through things quickly. But overall, don't stress about it. Practice your rotation, in my opinion, is the main thing that you can get out of this video. Uh, that's what I want you to take away from it. Don't stress about it and practice your rotation, and everything else will kind of come together in the end. If you ever have any questions, of course, you can leave a comment down in the comment section. If I don't know the answer, I'll find it out for you. Uh, but like I said, I'm not the greatest DPS, but I do enjoy DPS and I've gotten a lot better at it over the years. So hopefully this will help you out. Like I said, just don't stress about it. Learn your rotation. That is the main key in my opinion. And like I said, you can throw together some really strange gear sets and they will work very well. You don't have to have everything that is meta. Just take that away from this as well. You know, I know meta gear is what a lot of people talk about, but you can do a lot of damage with a lot of different stuff in game. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.